In this video, I'm going to answer a question. What is a cyber warfare and what are examples of it? We can define cyber warfare as actions taken against another nation involving politically motivated attacks on information and computing system views of the internet. People responsible for it can act as independent groups or be supported or encouraged by governments. Cyber warfare is used for two main purposes, espionage and sabotage. However, it is possible that aftermath can be serious. It can also threaten societies because it is difficult for, to find out who takes responsibility for actions and attacks can be also used against civilian resources. Potential risk includes uh, stolen or lost data, financial losses, instability and disruption or even reducing military capabilities and decrease of national security. Tools used by people taking part in cyber warfare are usually malicious software and distributed denial of access attacks. Most countries in the world have noticed what a risk cyber warfare may bring. A report from 2007 by MKFE says that 120 countries could have cyber espionage tools. A good example of malware targeting industry machines in 2010 was a virus called Stuxnet. It changed periodically the operating speed of centrifuge of machines. As we can see in the graph, Iran was the country that was affected the most, where it caused problems at the uranium enrichment facility. Another example was a wave of attacks on Estonia in 2007. Uh, government, media and the bank websites were affected. In 2008, there was a conflict between Russia and Georgia. It included DDoS attacks on Georgian government websites, diverting or blocking internal traffic. Russian government denied allegations and stated possibility that individuals from Russia started attacks. Attacks carried out with malware and network caused distrust between countries. Uh, to avoid that, states vowed to cease attacks against each other. For instance, Russia and China signed a cyber security agreement in 2015. I believe that the risk is high and nations uh, should secure their systems and be ready for cyber attacks. These days, the internet has many users worldwide. We need to keep in mind that nowadays, uh, conflicts are fought on the battlefield and on the internet. Cyber security is not to be ignored.